So here is Corby's Little. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And here is Gwen's Little. Come on, time to distract you. They all think that the cleaning of the little box is the best. Most exciting thing in the universe. <laughs> this is Gwen's daughter, Helena, and her son, Hercules. They are both currently available on the website. And then we've got Corby's kitties. This one here is Khaleesi, that's a Ronan Jr. I don't have the names completely memorized. Come on, come over here, let's leave Mr. Justin alone. I don't think these are so cute. Tap it, tap it. I can hear someone squeaking. Oh, this is Julian. This is Ollie's baby. He is also currently um, been evaluated and he is also available. Oh, look, look, there's a toy. There's a toy. Come on. Come on, look at those. Prum, prum, prum. Prum, prum, prum. They are so cute. And this is, um, Big red Homies. Like a lot. Homies has been out reserved, so he's not currently available. Hercules is loving this toy. <laughs> Whoa, Julian. Yeah, they're all getting involved on it. just like um, daddy in here. So the black and brown tabby, the white paws, that one and that one, both look like daddy. And then we have two, this one here is Khaleesi and that is her brother, he's a bit lighter. And then we have two that have no white paws but are silver and that's this one here and, and that is, oh, those two, those two, nope, this one, this one and this one. The, the, that one is actually Julian. He is not cause. This one is a core baby right here. He doesn't have any white paws. And this one um, is also um, a oh, <laughs> core baby. No white paws. So it's kind of funny. She had, oh, and do you see this? I'm like, wait a minute, is he dumb and little? No, he's just in the middle of loving up on him. Keep on me. <laughs> back to work, back to work. But they are just precious. So, Cole had six babies, one female, and Gwen had two babies, one female, and one baby, which is just the boy. So, these guys are so cute. They're doing really, really good. And we've got them on the website right now. We've got lots of videos, and I do have them individualized on the website so you know who's who. Um, I just have to memorize your name, which, to tell you the truth, and I do love the comment one of my YouTube subscribers left that don't feel bad if you don't remember their names now because by the time they get bigger, then they go into their new forever home, they're gonna get new names anyways, which is totally true. So I do apologize that I don't have all six of the babies memorized. I have some of them, but not all, all of them memorized. So but yeah, these guys are um, they're doing great. And I do have them all individualized on the website and you can actually tell who's who. I just can't remember what their names are. But I know exactly who's who because each one does have a little bit of um, differences on, on them. So with the, the black and brown tabby with white, they both, one has, um, and this one's actually, you can't really see it directly on the photos. I actually have to manually hold each kitten. But on the side of their face, one of them has a, um, I call it a black buckle, and the other one doesn't. And let me see if this one, if this is the one that has black buckle in it. Yep, do you see the little itty bitty black spot right there? That little itty bitty down. Sorry about that. But that, that little black spot, that is, whoops, got it upside down. That is the, um, the only way to tell those two different. So, but um, yeah, that's pretty much, those are the, the hardest ones without looking at that, that freckle on it. 
So I literally had to come in here and kind of look at them both. I had to tell my mom, which is so cute. Come on, everybody up, up here. Come on, whoops, not down. Up, up. Hi. Oh, off the edge. Off the edge. Oh, did you want to come up here? That's homies down there. This is a Gwen's baby. This is a Gwen baby. That's a Gwen baby. That's a core baby. And that's two core babies. Oh, and those are two more core babies. Actually, I lied. The one um, in the back, the serum, that is Ollie's baby. That's Julian. <laughs> he's in between these two littles, so he's not as um, he's not as young as Cora's little, but he's not as old as uh, Gwen's little. So he's like right smack in the middle because Cora's little uh, was born on the 13th, and I believe Gwen's was like a week before that. And he's born like three days after Gwen's, so it works out pretty good though. But uh, yeah, these are the babies, and as you can tell, hey, oh, the twinsies, the twinsies, hi, aren't you just so cute? He, this one likes to watch, he's a watcher, and he likes his cuddles, um, let's see, this one, so out of the, the brown tabbies, with white, one's more of a cuddler than the other one, one likes the toys more, and being on his feet more, and the other one doesn't really, um, he likes his toys, but just not nearly as much as the brother does. But you gotta keep in mind, like I try to tell all my brother homes, when you guys watch my videos, their temperaments totally change. So sometimes you might have a really, really hyper looking baby, and sometimes they just might not really be in his toys as much here. But once they move onward and they get past their like baby stages and they're into toddler stages, <laughs> that kind of changes. So, oh, but here comes a mama. Here's Corby. Oh, there's baby Corbs. And that's uh, Khaleesi on the back side of her. That's the little female veil. She's, um, as you can tell, that one to this one, okay? They're both um, white mitten silver tabbies, but Khaleesi is just really dark compared to her brother, as you can tell. So, oh, and Corb is like, um, there was a string I want, and there is Miss Gwenny Poo Poo. And Gwen, who is grandma and Cora's mom, is um she mommies them all so she loves babies she's one of our best mamas is that your mama and that is Ollie's baby that is julian he was hand reared by me until he was about um about four and a half five weeks old and that's when i slowly integrated him into gwen's little and gwen because i wanted him as a single tank to to have that socialization with the other kittens and he did amazing hi mr peekaboo but yeah these are their babies and he is quite spunky for core look at those babies and we let mommy go anywhere she's allowed to go lay on the mat and feed her babies on the little mats on the bed on this we're not going to move her just because she's on a certain location we love our moms and they are amazing core and gwen and we have two other moms that are like totally into moms like they are just they're amazing we have some moms that pretty much once the kittens start getting teeth they will kind of slowly um leave those kittens um a little bit quicker to the point that by the time the kittens are about 10 10 and a half weeks old they're kind of done like yep i'm totally good but that's a good time for the babies to go ahead and start socializing with each other and um make sure that they are good with um, knowing when not to bite and scratch each other too hard. And that's, that's one thing a lot of people don't understand is one reason why we do, um, as I a couple of weeks, um, keep the kittens to their 12 weeks old is because even if they're not still with mommy, they are playing hard with each other. And if you ever listen to the kids playing, you'll hear a little bit of growl or maybe a hiss or two, lots of cute little meows. And it's ideally because when they're biting each other and playing hard with each other, they don't realize that, hey, I'm biting too hard or playing too hard. and the other kitten will meow back. And when they meow back, that's them saying, hey buddy, you were biting me too hard or playing too hard. And it literally teaches the other kitten to go ahead and soften their bite and soften their way of playing. So it's actually very critical for all kittens to actually stay with um, their playmates at least until they're about 12 weeks old, just so they get that extra uh, time frame of socialization. And I always tell my Fobo homes that when you move on um, and you're playing with the baby, don't ever do it with your hands, especially the main kitten. Maine Coons get very, very big. This is homies, uh, Gwen's baby, but um, 
they uh, they get very big and with bigness comes big teeth and big claws. So you gotta keep that in mind. You don't wanna start teaching them bad bad traits. So just my little take on it. Oh my God, look at their little claws. I tried to zoom in twice, but unfortunately um, the iPhone, I don't know if it's because I accidentally dropped the phone, but it won't zoom in. I don't know why, but let me see if I can zoom in it now. Cause he, oh, of course now it is. Oh, and now we went completely blurry. I'm not sure why that happened. Hold on. My husband on the camera. Nope, I just have a really bad blurry spot in the middle. So I'm going to have to try to fix that. I don't know why. Like literally on that little girl. It is. Oh, there we go. That's weird. You are so pretty, girlfriend. Huh? Are oh, you so pretty? Oh, you're so pretty. She's definitely not as um, rambunctious at the moment as her brothers. He has been jumping all over the place, so he's finally calming down. Look at his little paws. So, Grandma, Grandma, his mom, Gwen, always has a paws cross. That is a cute little trait, but isn't she gorgeous? She is absolutely phenomenal. And you know I'm talking to you, huh? Yes, you do, sweetheart. But anyway, till next time, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to me. 